Ladies and gentlemen, one word of thanks to UNESCO and France for having called this international meeting on education at a time when education has been so seriously disturbed. The pandemic has, I think, revealed and amplified the many lacks and shortcomings in our system. We worked closely with our members and partners to ensure continued access to education when schools were closed and to reopen schools safely. In March last year, we launched the first rapid assessment of education policy responses to the pandemic, which became an important tool for handling the pandemic and which has since been institutionalized and is being utilized by UNESCO, UNICEF and the World Bank as a joint tool. The schools of today will be our economies and our societies tomorrow. That is why we need to build more resilient, more innovative and more effective education systems which prepare learners for their future rather than for our past. That will take resources. And it is worrying to see that 75% of low-income countries are off track in meeting the spending targets laid out in the Global Education Meeting Declaration. We need to strengthen the value proposition and the effectiveness of education to generate and justify more resources and to make the development of skills a whole of society enterprise. The logic is quite simple. If we invest in better teaching and learning, better skills will translate into better jobs, higher income, and greater revenue earning capacity. That gives governments higher revenues through taxes, which we can then use to invest into a better future through education. You can count on the OECD to help achieve this. We have been a long-standing partner of UNESCO in the pursuit of Sustainable Development Goal Four, to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and to promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. And we share the determination of this meeting to make the financing of education a policy priority in every country's recovery from the pandemic and beyond. You also have my personal commitment to serve on the strengthened SDG4 High-Level Steering Committee. The committee peut jouer un rôle this committee could play an essential role in defining the international education agenda and give a political commitment at the highest level for collective and coordinated action. You can count on OECD to support the call made by the Paris Declaration to invest in education for the future of humanity and of the planet. Thank you very much.